And these are our stream highlights for the game. Butterfly. It was developed by Greg Robot and published by the almighty Zydalon! Extillion? Actually, it's pronounced Zydalon. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. With a release date of May 12th and has not been given a price, <laughs> but the bean farmers are forecasting that sweet price of $4.99 with a 10% week one discount. Oh yeah, baby. They released four new stacks on the Windows 10. It'll be released on May 12th, so Butterfly, Butterfly 2, Castle Escape 2, and 50 Years will all be uh, Windows 10 stacks. We're gonna start with Butterfly. Uh, one thing I noticed with this game right away, I'm gonna play it with the controller, being it's Windows 10, I don't see my cursor anywhere being playable on the screen. I was able to select stuff earlier with it. <clears throat> there it goes. So, Windows 10 game, the cursor works best for the menus. It's not really uh, made for the controller layout, but that's okay. This game, once again, like the Windows, like the Xbox version, there's no jump, no climb. Basically, just control the little caterpillar with the thumbstick. Uh, easy completion. There's not much to this game, but those achievement hunters will be jumping on it on May 12th. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. So there's a little bit of logic. Uh, during my review, I said the order of operations, like I'm do I was just collecting these flowers out of order. You have to pay attention a little as it is a puzzle game. But uh, I think in my initial review, I was a little harsh on the game. Uh, being that these games, I think I compared to a Nokia phone game. Uh, just because it is just the bare bones, basic programming of moving a block around on the screen. It still can be a little enjoyable, as silly as it is. In my initial review, I had uh, kind of bagged on, ooh, I already messed up, kind of bagged on Sangria's for uh, being the only person who would actually play all the way through this game for its completion. So hopefully Zydalon will be merciful on us Zydalon. and not make us play to like level 80 or something. As I'm streaming, I can't really see the achievement pops. So I probably should fix that in the future would be much more entertaining to actually see the achievements pop on the screen. But I can hear them snapping away in the background, so I know it's happening. See, this music is just not good. Just as bare bones as it gets. Dinky, dinky, dink. Now the first time I played through this game, I think I had to play through like two to three playthroughs and I ended up playing to like level 40 or something crazy that was not necessary. See, I'm going the wrong way already. Uh, I think you only had to play to like level 10 or something to get the completion. I did things out of order. So if you push Y, you can reset the level, come back in and do things in the correct order. Let me go down here. <laughs> I think another big criticism on my original review was that uh, playing this on like the Series X or the Xbox One X or something. But just 
the fact that uh, modern in indie programmers can get away with doing these basic games that are fairly entertaining and can obviously make some sales enough to make it profitable to do it on the Xbox Marketplace. It's just running so slow. If this ran at like twice the speed, I think it'd be a bit more enjoyable. May 12th, you too can bounce on the B. Now I am a little interested on the Butterfly 2. This Butterfly game was a little silly originally, but I know on Steam Butterfly 2 has been out for a while, so... What do you, how much of an improvement do you guys think? Now the mechanics are very simple, being that there isn't any interactions, special tools, anything you have to like collect other than these flowers, and it's just moving your little bug around on the screen. It's not like you get extra points for eliminating every single one of these bees or anything, which... We got a ways to go. Speaking of which, I made a mistake on my previous coverage of Zydalon Games and the title updates. I guess every six months you can add an additional what, what, what? thousand gamer score to the game through a title update, up to a maximum of five thousand. I had originally messed up and thought five thousand in addition to the original thousand. It's a straight 5,000. So you get your 1,000 with the initial game, and every six months they can add an additional 1,000 up to a total of 5,000. 5,000 Gamer Score! Reactor X. They just released that as a Windows 10 stack, and I think it got a title update and gave it a 2,000 2, G already on that. Which I think I still owe a, a stream and a review on that one, so we'll be covering that one this week as well. I'm gonna go! If I get him, did I just screw the pooch? I think I did. It's that order operations. I can't go on both sides, I got no jump mechanic. <laughs> Hee hee hee. I think Michael Jackson came back to visit me. Hee <laughs> hee! Ah! Get it out of here! Get it out! Ah! Alright. Nobody wants to see you, Mr. Brownie. Quit! Ha ha ha, that's funny. All right, so I think this is okay to come over here, grab this guy, come on up here, get this little guy. But I have to use, I have to use this guy to get over here. This guy I'm gonna come up and grab the top guy, come down here and then hella bounce in the house. And that's my full completion, 1,000. Now, like I was saying with the title updates, they're gonna extend the life of this. Every six months, they'll come out with another 1,000G. Uh, this game was uh, 10 achievements for 100 points each. So about 10 levels, fairly easy. I'm gonna be interested what the title update's gonna do with these because they've got, Another essentially, what, 40 achievements to add into this. So it's probably collect X amount of flowers, collect or kill so many bees. So it'll be interesting. But thanks for viewing, tuning in. We'll come up with a schedule eventually. Bean Farm Gaming out.